In 2014, tuberculosis killed 1.5 million people. Of those, 480,000 were women. TB is the second leading cause of death in Sub-Saharan Africa and Asia, and is among the top five causes of death globally among women of childbearing age. That's a problem. TB in pregnancy has dire consequences. But honestly, we can't really say how widespread the problem is. Because the World Health Organization and most countries do not identify pregnant women in routine tuberculosis data, that's a problem too. Health workers may not readily suspect TB in a pregnant woman, because signs and symptoms can mirror typical complaints, fatigue, nausea, and the like. But the disease can have dramatic consequences, both for the mother and for the newborn. When a mother has TB, she is twice as likely to deliver a premature or underweight baby. And the baby can be born with congenital TB. When I was pregnant, I was coughing a lot. I was also experiencing dizziness and shortness of breath. It was so hard to breathe. So when I got tested and was found to have TB, I immediately started taking medication. I was very concerned. I thought I was going to die from this disease, and I was concerned that the babies would die too. If I died, they were going to die with me. Women with TB are dying because there are delays in diagnosis and treatment. And infants born from mothers who have TB face an uphill battle from their first day in this world. Prompt diagnosis leads to timely treatment, which benefits both mothers and their babies. I was told by my health surveillance assistant that I had TB. He encouraged me to eat nutritious food and to breastfeed my babies exclusively for six months. The babies were not given any medication, but I was counseled to be careful and to observe coughing etiquette, especially when I was around them, to avoid infecting them with the disease. Before I started taking medication, I had general body pains, heart palpitations, coughing, and shortness of breath. Now the systems have disappeared. I have been healthy ever since. Here's the third big problem. If a pregnant woman is diagnosed with drug-resistant TB, we don't even know how to best treat her. Health workers have few options for pregnant women with drug-resistant TB. They can delay treatment to the woman until after the pregnancy, offer to terminate the pregnancy and begin treatment immediately, or continue treatment without knowing all of its effects. None of these are good options. And the needed research isn't even on the horizon. We must ensure women are appropriately diagnosed and treated promptly in pregnancy. We must advocate for key research to inform how to treat pregnant women with drug-resistant TB. We must begin to implement programs that reliably collect the right data on TB in pregnancy. The birth was straightforward. I gave birth to healthy twin boys because I was eating nutritious food during my pregnancy. They are growing well. One of them is this one here. At the health facility, I was told that TB can be cured as long as I take medication for the old duration. Now I'm healthy, TB can be cured. Listen, if it's true that we measure what we value, then we are doing poorly for women with tuberculosis. We can do better, and we must do better.